This is the Forza Horizon 5 Rally Adventure Expansion, and today we're starting up our Let's Play. In today's episode, we are starting from the very beginning, traveling over to this new map, exploring the new map, choosing our first racing team, customizing some cars, and more. However, before we jump into this video, I did want to let you guys know that the developers were super, super nice and hooked me up with 10 codes of the Rally Adventure expansion to give away to you guys. It's super simple to enter. All you need to do is number one, subscribe here on YouTube. Number two, join the AR12 Discord server. There's a link in the description down below. And number three, leave a comment with your Discord username. And that's all you need to do to enter. I wish you good luck and I hope you enjoy the video. So here we go, the Horizon Badlands expansion. Let's jump in. All right, rock up in the dog. Viper and immediately presented with all of the Baja trucks. That's sick. Patience, Rami. I'll show you once we get there. Hey, superstar, you're here. Get in the truck with Alex and let's get going. I should have started this video by saying welcome back to Forza Horizon Cringe Edition. One thing I must say from all of the gameplay I've seen of this map so far, it is absolutely beautiful. One of the best electric trucks you'll see. It's Alejandro's, so you know it's going to be absolutely cracking. Oh, are we actually jumping into the F-150 Lightning immediately? I know this thing isn't going to be everybody's cup of tea. I probably would have preferred an F-150 Raptor R, but this thing's still pretty sick. Look at this map. Welcome to the Rally Adventure expansion. Jeez. Yo, look at all the traffic. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know if it's just me. 20 seconds into jumping into this expansion. I'm getting like some Forza Horizon 3 vibes. I don't know why it feels like driving around in Australia a little bit. Anyways, F-150 Lightning. This thing is mega. I love all of the bits and bobs it's got on it. Being a co-driver requires absolute concentration and sorry, double caution, water ahead. Pretty tough route for a wrecky. Whoa. Sorry, I do apologize. He said mind the traffic, not nail the traffic. Sorry, I, I do apologize. <laughs> I was too busy looking at the cool ADD rear bumper on that thing. Anyways, then we can jump into Colin McRae's Ford Focus. Let's go. What a beautiful little car. I'll call the left and right. You go as fast as possible. That's what rally is. All right, Alex, you tell me where to go. Oh, so immediately we're going to jump in. And we've got the rally pace notes at the top of the screen. So here's the deal. One of the things with the rally adventure expansion that I was actually wondering out myself was because you've got these rally pace notes and you've got your rally co-driver, do you really need a racing line and the mini map? So I think as soon as we're done this race, we've got to turn all of that stuff off and make this a little bit more realistic. I think that would just be a cool way to play. Oh, what a monstrous little car. Wait, <laughs> they, they, they just had chickens on the base notes. This is actually the new quarry area. I'm pretty sure we're gonna play a game of hide and seek out here in the future. Look at all of the drones in the air. That is so, so cool as well. All right, well, we're nearly there, little Ford. Come on, bring it to the finish line. Oh, is this it? Is this the finish line? Straight in to the Horizon Festival. Let's go. And we're already picking up some achievements. Complete a seasonal activity. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and another achievement. Welcome to the Rally Adventure expansion. Very nice. Look at all the rally trucks. Before we jump into this race, I think we need to make things a little... Oh, wow. Look at this route. Maybe we'll turn our whole racing line and everything off after this one. Anti-lag. This is the best feature. Oh my god. As soon as I pulled away and you hear pop, 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 pop. So this is actually new. We have two new ways to actually play this event. So Horizon Rally is a race against the clock. Follow your co-driver's pace notes and check your times at the split gates. And then Horizon Race is the standard racing you know. Okay, very cool. And we immediately get prompted with turn the racing line off. Yo, that's sick. Okay, yeah, we're gonna turn it off then. More challenging, let's go. Welcome to Devil's Pass. Fast asphalt route that climbs through chicanes. I hope you're ready for this. This is so sick. Why did the developers not show this off before? I'm also gonna turn my mini map off. We're gonna go full try hard mode. Three, two, one, go! The 
All right, this is sick. This is so sick. Why didn't the developers show this off before, though? This is just awesome. Anyways, I do apologize if this isn't my cleanest race of all time. My first race with no mini map, no racing line, and relying completely on the pace notes. So I've got to look and see, like, okay, there's a hairpin coming up and go with that. Jeez. Yo, I'm in P4 right now? Wait, what di What difficulty am I on? I'm in P4 by two seconds. Whoa, I nearly ended up down there. That would have been bad. Okay, straight through there. Beautiful. This is so, so cool. I'm going to take some liberties with the racing lines where I can. Go for corner cuts. I mean, at the end of the day, it is a rally race, right? All right, then we've got another split gate over here. Let's see. What position am I in? I'm up to P1, baby! By 1.4 seconds. These racing routes are awesome what a beautiful place to actually drive around though like like i said i've only been driving around it for a couple of minutes but already what i'm seeing is just so cool and now that my brain is adjusting to like how to actually drive with no racing line and everything like that and properly just relying on the pace notes you kind of just get used to it it's pretty sick this is my final split gate at 80 percent of the way through the race we are still first place by four seconds now and break it through the corner. Beautiful sends. Let's go. Oh, okay. Easy not. Mm, could have been better. You can feel like the rally influence on the map, just the way like the roads are laid out, and especially all of the props on the side of the road. It kind of feels like you're playing like a dirt rally two or things like that. All right, that was sick. Finish line there. Cross the line. I think that was P1. First place. Thank you very much. Maybe my showboating wasn't such a good idea because I only won by one second at the end there. Hey, but we're picking up another achievement. Thank you very much. And we've got another event. Okay. Hello, I'm Anna, your automated natural... Uh... This is a proper rally race now. Off-road rally race. I guess we're going to keep using Colin McRae's car here. I just noticed the way the mud flaps move. Oh, that's so cool. We've got to go... Uh, I think it's on the other side of this mountain. This is going to be one of the downsides of playing with no mini-map. Yo, that's cool. All right, Alex, give me your car. What is it? Oh, wait, am I... Wait, are we all just sharing the Colin McRae car? What are we driving? Oh, we got the Hoonigan buggy. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Away we go. Come on. Oh, that was a shocking launch. I don't actually know too much about the Hoonigan Beetle, Baja Beetle. I must say, though, I love all of this immersion going on right now from just like the no mini map, the no racy line. Oh, this thing's got some uh, shocking gear ratios. It really does feel like a Dirt 5 or a Dirt Rally 2. That's kind of just more accessible, if you know what I mean. Really cool the way this is done. Anyways, I think after this race, we should go back to the festival if it's actually unlocked for us. And then we can check out some of that new customization and see what cars we have unlocked and when we can actually unlock other cars. For right now, though, we're blitzing this. Oh, the Hoonigan Baja Beetle is not a fast car, though. This thing feels like it's got... 50 horsepower. Keep sending it. 30% left to go in this race. We are absolutely blitzing it. Shooting up clouds of... Uh, I, I was about to say smoke. Of dust behind. Look at that waterfall up there. I actually found in my Hot Wheels expansion, the first ever time I played it, I found a little Easter egg hiding behind the waterfall. We might need to go and check out that waterfall and see if the developers hid anything Water. secret for us again. Through the right, and there is the finish line. That should be a nice P1. I think we might actually need to change the difficulty for this, but we go P1. Thank you very much. Things you loved again, though. I only won by two seconds at the end there. The AI, for some reason, at the end of the race, their speed just increases like crazy because I had a four second lead going into that. All right, I think we've got our third and final race over here for like the tutorial. It's also a good life lesson, my friend. Be careful when you open your mouth or someone might make you go through with it. You could always admit you were bluffing, Rabbi. What? Never. I think the man just threatened him. Jeez. <laughs> I don't care what anybody says. Anti-lag is the best feature in this game. It literally sounds like somebody's making popcorn. Anyways, I feel like I should actually explain what the characters are actually talking about because they didn't. So 
Here's the deal. In the Rally Adventure expansion, there are actually three teams. Alex, Alejandra, and Rami. They all have their own team. Alex is doing all of those dirt races like we did before. Alejandra, she has all of like the proper road races. And then Rami has all of the street races. Long story short, you essentially need to pick a team and then do races for that team. And then you will get three different finals. And that's how you can get some of the prizes in the Rally Adventure expansion. At least that's what I was told. I haven't actually seen it for myself just yet, so... We'll have to take a look. Yo, what is that? What is that? What does that say? HFB. Since I have no idea what that stands for, I guess we should just make our own abbreviation. Let me know in the comments what we should name it. Oh, that's a great idea. And I'm sure it'll go well and won't get me demonetized. Here we are. A mixed surface run with multiple hairpins and jumps through the tierras verdes. Charming and beautiful. Interesting. So these races are actually rally cross if they're going to be like a mixed surface. Yo, look at that actually. The road, half of the road is actually covered in sand. Oh, that's pretty sad. Oh, these races are going to be hard. Okay. Now the fact that I don't have the mini map, I don't have the racing line, and I'm in something considerably faster. Eh, this is going to be a lot harder now. We got to send this thing, use the handbrake and just send it through and hope for the best. You seriously need to get on the brakes early with this. Okay, keep going. So, okay, these split gates are gonna be every 20% through the actual race. I wonder if we could actually make our own, like, rally races in the event lab. Uh, I actually haven't heard about that, so I'll have to take a look. I wonder though, now that I'm actually doing all of these races, I wonder, can we actually build our own proper, like, rally races like these with those split gates in blueprint. I don't actually know. I'll have to take a look at that. I do really like the chopper overhead shining that spotlight onto the car so I can see where I'm going. We are in second place now by nearly half a second. Come on. I could probably send it through here, but dab of the brake, handbrake, go. Finish line in the disc. Okay, that was a massive send. I don't know if I was able to catch up at the end. Jeez, we were flying though. Let's see. Second! I think we might have invented a brand new and exciting kind of rally sport. Fantastic! Drivers will love this! My guy, you invented rally cross. I hate to break it to you, it's kind of been a thing. I think this could work. One tournament, three rally teams competing for the title of Horizon Rally Champion and the services of the top driver at the festival. A real question here. Who will it be first? Ooh, so we actually need to pick our first team. Do we go off-road, on-road, or mixer? I think I gotta go off-road. It's called the Rally Adventure. I've studied every inch of Sierra Nueva on paper and a good amount on recce. These are our first race stages. What are you aiming for? Get going. What I've got to do is actually earn reputation. I have 400 of 700 reputation. I've currently got these. I've got a danger sign and I've got a uh, rally race all the way over here. A point to point race. And then at some point, I will be able to race Alex head to head. I've got to get all the way up to rank eight to actually race him. Wow. Okay. All right. So we've got to go off road and then we've got to send it this way. So I guess you could actually get a little bit of a run-up by going the other way and like like turning around. But I'm just gonna go full send. I have no idea what distance I'm even going for, but 500 feet, that feels decent. One All right, let's just let's just let's just go uh, back to the festival and I'm gonna get something a bit quicker. Anyways, I feel like we need to take something that we could actually turn into a rally car. Maybe, maybe you know what? Maybe I will go for the Mitsubishi Evo. Sure. Let's jump into this thing. There are some brand new things in here for customization. So there's all of the standard body kits, but then there are these new rally bumpers, which are really, really cool. So I think we're gonna do a little bit of customization to this thing to maybe just spice it up a little bit. Oh, we've got a spare tire on the roof. We've got cop lights, cop lights, cop lights, cop lights, and co and a spare tire. I guess those are like with mud flaps and without mud flaps. There should be some new tire upgrades as well. Uh, I guess they're not available on this thing. And then I need some anti-lag, please. Race turbo with anti-lag. That's the regular one and that's with anti-lag. That's so sick. I think this thing is definitely gonna fly now. Let me just get a little bit of weight reduction and we'll be good to go. <laughs> Whoa! 
What a ridiculous noise. We're taking the run up and everything. We definitely could have gotten for a bigger run up, but hopefully our little Evo here is fast enough. I need 750 feet for two stars. Got him. Got him. Let's go. Lovely stuff there. Eventually, I'll bring out something way, way faster. I'll jump in the RS200 at some point, and then we'll do that properly. But for now, let's go up to our race all the way over here. All right, let's go. Same surfaces, same courses, but you face off against other drivers. A bit of extra motivation, you know? I see. So now that we've gotten to this part in our actual campaign, we could go and do more Horizon Rally races, or we could go and do a proper race as well. I guess I'm going to try a proper race, and we'll see how this goes. Five, four, three, two, one, go! Let's go, baby. Let's go, Evo. So watch out for all of the racers. I guess I probably should have turned on... Wait, the racing line's back on for me. Because this is actually a proper race. Oh, very, very cool. Seriously, there really should be an option for the minimap tied with that racing line option as well. I'm just saying that would be so, so cool. Anyways, this Evo's actually working really, really nicely for me. So we've got a point to point race here. This Evo is just incredibly cracked. Let's go. Every single time I lift off on the throttle, it's just pop, 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 pop. <laughs> All right, the helicopter's still above. I guess I also don't have pace notes for this race now that I think about it as well. I must say, though, from what I've driven so far, these race routes just feel incredible. It really is like the developers went, okay, how can we make a cool race first? And then said, okay, how can we make the open world fit that? I feel like that's what their intentions were like because these races are unbelievably bumpy. The turns in them are awesome and flowy and... You can carry your speed through them. I'm just, I'm so impressed with the world design out here. I cannot wait to do a proper hide and seek mini game at some point in the future. That was awesome. That Evo is really, really fast. All right. So now that we've won that race, I think we should move up to rank two. So if I actually pause quickly, we can jump back to the horizon team selection. And then this is where we can choose another team when we eventually, wait, I've already unlocked a car. I just got the Baja Beetle. Let's go. All right, hold on. There is one more thing for us to go and do. We need to go and see if there's a secret under the waterfall. There is the waterfall. Please tell me there is something hiding behind it. Let's go, Evo. Go in, sneak in. Sneak in. Nothing! What a letdown! Anyways, that is where I'm gonna wrap this up for today. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you subscribe for more. And don't forget to enter the giveaway as well if you don't already own the Rally Adventure expansion. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you want to see me drive next, and I will see you guys tomorrow with some more Forza Horizon 5 Rally Adventure gameplay. I'll see you then. Bye!